that? 29? 29. So we have f of x equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x and minus 6. Perfect. Okay. So um, the question is asking us, it should, asked us to sketch the graph, list, blah, 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 everything. So the question is asking us to do everything. And of course, for this, with the scope of, um, or the purpose of uh, graphing from the beginning till the end. Okay. So I'm going to get my table started on the next page. Okay. The reason why I'm, I'm using the first, I'm writing the first derivative and then the function and then the second derivative will be self-explanatory in a minute or two or three. Okay. So can anyone give us the domain of this function and what type is it? Polynomial numbers and polynomials. Excellent. Indeed. Indeed is polynomial and all real numbers. Good. Now we have to determine these limits. So our first step is function. So what do I mean by that? I mean limits, any type of limits that I need, because if it has uh, the function is undefined, we'll get to the next section, you'll see what kind of limits we need. Uh, limits, x and y intercepts. Okay? And after that, I go to the derivative. First the second, the first derivative, and then the second derivative, or derivatives. Okay? But first I have to exhaust everything I need or I can find about the function from the function itself. And then I move on to derivatives. Okay. So when we look at the limit as x approaches infinity from this function, and when x approaches negative infinity from this function, what would you say? That's why we started, started chapter 1 for this and for many other reasons. Anyone? Positive and negative infinity. Right. Of course, this is positive infinity, this is negative infinity, because as we know, at infinity, only this term counts, the most powerful. These are too small to mention. So then if x approaches infinity, this will approach infinity. If x approaches negative infinity, this quantity will approach negative infinity. Perfect. Thank you very much. So we have negative infinity and we have infinity. Now finding uh, the y-intercept, so 0 always has to be in the table. The y-intercept is it cannot be easier. So how much is f of 0? Can anyone give us f of 0? That's it. Very good. So I'm going to write it. Notice that I'm talking about the function. Okay. Now the x-intercepts for this function are not friendly. So the x-intercepts, how do we find the x-intercepts for any function? What do we have to write? Make it equal to zero. Excellent. Awesome. F of x equals zero. So x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 6 equals zero. So there is no way we can factor this. We do not have a formula for solving something like this. This will have to, we have no choice but to use a calculator. And I can show how to determine these x-intercepts and I'm just going to share my screen because we, we are limited. When it comes to uh, what is the degree of this function and how many solutions do I have to find? Three. Yes, so it's polynomial is degree three, three solutions. Degree, third, degree. Okay? 
Good. So I'm going to share my screen and let's go to the calculator. These are absolutely necessary because we cannot graph without the x and y intercepts. So in y equals, um, we will enter the function x cubed, x cubed, um, negative 6 x squared, and then uh, plus 12 x and then minus 6. And now I go to, I know nothing about the graph. Uh, let's see if I can, um, there is a calculator that I have and I'll show you in a minute. For some reason they don't um, make it anymore. But I think that this calculator has the option, give me one second, of solving an equation quite easily. There are other options, but I have to graph it first, and I really didn't want to graph it. I don't want to graph. Uh, yes, I do have, I worked with my stat class and I have to change that into off because otherwise it will not graph. Okay, so graph. I really didn't want to do this. Okay, so it appears that there is only one real solution. So, and the solution is somewhere between 0 and 1. So the options are um, finding the zeros. So um, now I don't use the table. I want second and calc. And I want the 0, which is number 2. So I will select 2. And it will ask me for a left bound. Yeah, that's okay. I can put zero in. It will ask me for a right bound. I'm going to put the right bound as two. And um, then I don't want to guess. And it will give us the zero. So there is only one real solution, 0 0.74. So x equals 0.74. And now I want to show you. Um, a, and, and this calculator has that feature. Now the new calculator, let me just go back for a second. The new calculators do have uh, the, the way of solving, not the draw. I just don't use it. So entry and solve. I don't use this calculator for that feature, but it does have the option of solving an equation. No, it's not that. If you find it, oh, maybe it's under apps now. No. It's not under draw, it's not under tests. Should be in their numbers. Or under apps. Finance, conics, piece of data. Huh. Well, I will discover it. But what I wanted to show you is this calculator, which they they came up with. So this is a TA86. It's a very old calculator, probably 15 years old or more. And it has a, um, a feature called poly, polynomial. And with second and polynomial, you just put in the order, which is order, by order they mean the degree. And it's asking you for the coefficients in decreasing order, of course, 
negative 6, uh, 12, and 6. And you just click on solve. I don't know if you can see this. So it gives three solutions. So maybe I entered, maybe I entered the coefficients incorrectly. One, negative, yes, I did. Okay, so it's negative six, got it. I have to have the same, get the same solutions. There is no discussion there. So here it is, the 0.74, but the other two are imaginary. How do I know? It's because if the first part does not have zero as the second part, everything else is imaginary. So see, so this is two comma one. Well, that's not that's not a real number. So the only solution is zero point seven four. And I'll I'll show you I'll find um, the syntax for this new newer calculator. Okay, so now we have the zero point seven four with a zero here. At this point, we'll say we exhausted everything about the function. I can't find anything else about the function from the function itself. Done. So I'm ready to move on to the first derivative. So f prime of x. So we hope that the f prime of x is friendlier to us. So can anyone give us the first derivative? Squared Very good. Minus 12x plus 12. Excellent. Perfect. Much nicer. What I, am I going to do next, do you think? Factor out a 3. Yes. The keywords factor and simplify. Thank you. So then we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. And this I know because we reviewed it on the first day of classes. What do I do with this? Make them both equal to zero. Let's factor it. But yes, you're right. But that's what I said. We did this on the first day of classes, so we can advance faster. What is this? X minus two squared. That's it. Awesome. So then f prime of x is zero only in one situation. When x is two. Very good. OK, perfect. So I'll put 2 where it belongs. 0 for the first derivative. I did not determine the value at 2, but I'm going to share my screen and determine it right now. So I still have the function in. So then second and table, I plug in 2, and I see what I get. 2. Nice. OK. I put it in. I'm going to stop sharing now. I have it. Now I have to study the sign of the first derivative. Can anyone, that's why I factored it, can anyone give us the sign of the derivative? Positive. Always positive. What does that mean? It means that the function must do what all the time? Increase. Excellent. This is the moment of truth. If this sequence of signs does not match the numbers or the symbols that I have here, I have to start from scratch. From negative infinity to negative 6, does the function go up? Yes. From Very good. From negative 6 to 0, does it go up? Yes. From 0 to 2, does it go up? Yes. Yes, and from 2 to infinity, it goes up. So far, so good. These two are OK. And obviously, no max min. This is the critical number, but no max min. By the first derivative test, the derivative doesn't change sign. If it doesn't change sign, no max min. OK, now, of course, I am going to differentiate this. Not this, not this, to find the second derivative. Can anyone give us the second derivative? It's 6x. Minus Good. And when I dis set this equal to 0, I get that x equals? Ha, ha, ha. Very nice. Good. Final step, I need to find the sign of the second derivative now, because I need to know whether it's opening downward or upward or what it's doing. So 6x minus 12 
pick a number to the left of 2 and tell me the sign, pick a number to the right of 2 and tell me the sign. Negative and then positive. That's it. Awesome. Which means it does not hold water, and now it does. Done. That's all I needed, and the function is not symmetric. That's one thing that is not in, in the table. And remember symmetry with respect to the origin or with respect to the y-axis. I don't need anything else. I don't care for any other calculations. Just care about my table. And I'm ready. So this is 4. See so here's how I start. I put the points that I have. I have the y-intercept is 0, negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I put the 0.74, comma, 0 close to 1 right here and I have 2 comma 2 this point right here the function does not have points of the of max min but what can you say about the point 2 comma 2 what type of point is the is 2 comma 2 slope is 0 careful true Slope is one. What type of point it is it? I'm not asking about the slope. What type of point is two comma two? Is it maximum? We just established the function is always increasing. It cannot have max or min. It's a point of inflection. Inflection point. It's right here. The second derivative is zero and it changes sign. Okay, so now the function is coming from negative infinity opening down, increasing to the point of y-intercept, coming from negative infinity, increasing, crossing at this point, coming up to the, the x-intercept, it has to be smooth continuous function, a little bit difficult because the number, this one, is so small. It continues to increase at all times, still opening down till the point 2 comma 2. Always increasing, always increasing, always opening down till the point of inflection. When continues to increase, but this time is changing concavity, opening up. This is the graph of f of x, what was it, Th x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x and minus 6. Very good pick. Any questions? <laughs>